This is part 4 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to debug JavaScript in Visual Studio. Let's flip to Visual Studio. This is the same example that we worked with in part 1 of this video series. We all know how to debug server-side code. For example, if we want to debug the server-side code that's present in this code behind file, we throw in a breakpoint and then we run the application in debug mode. Once the web form loads and when we click the submit button, the execution is going to stop at that breakpoint and we can step in and out of code using F10 and F11 keys. In a similar fashion, we want to be able to debug this client side JavaScript function. We want the JavaScript execution to stop on this line right here. So let's throw in a breakpoint there and let's run the application in debug mode. Now when the web form loads and when we click this submit button, we know that this JavaScript function will be called and we want the JavaScript execution to stop at that breakpoint. So let's see if that is going to happen. I click the submit button and notice that we get the validation error messages right away, which means the JavaScript function execution has completed, but the execution did not stop at that breakpoint. Why is that? That's basically because if you look at the browser that I'm using, it's Google Chrome. I have configured Visual Studio on my machine to use Google Chrome as the default browser. Now, for JavaScript debugging to work within Visual Studio, the default browser for Visual Studio should be Internet Explorer. So let's see how to do that. At the moment, debugger is still attached to Visual Studio. So let's go ahead and detach the debugger. To do that, click on the debug menu and then select detach all option. Within Solution Explorer, right click on this web form one and select this option browse with. Notice at the moment, Google Chrome is the default browser for Visual Studio. Now we want Internet Explorer to be the default browser. So select that and click this button, close the window and let's run the application in debug mode now. Now Visual Studio should use Internet Explorer as the default browser. When we click the submit button, Notice that the JavaScript execution is stopped at that breakpoint. We even have IntelliSense here. Look at this. When I hover the mouse over, it says return variable is undefined. That's basically because we did not execute this line yet. So when we press F10 and when I hover the mouse over, look at that return variable holds a value of true. We can also use quick watch, watch, and immediate windows for debugging. So if you want to view this variable in a quick watch window, right click on that and select quick watch. Notice that it is displayed within the quick watch. The name of the variable is return, its value is true, and type is boolean. We can also add it to watch window. And to do that, right click on that and select add watch. So we have a watch window here. The name of the variable again, return value true and type is boolean. Now look at this. When we step through the code, so let me keep pressing F10, still the value of this variable is true. At this line, we are changing the value of that variable to false. So when I press F10, look at that, that changed value is reflected within the watch window. We can also use immediate window. Now if you want to know what is the value that is stored in this um, label control, take that expression, you know, copy that, and then go to immediate window and paste it there. And press enter key, look at that. At the moment, within that label control, this is the string that is stored. Now when I press F5, the function execution should complete and we get the error messages back. Thank you for listening and have a great day.